So I got a little bit off with the daily vlogging thing because yesterday, for the life of me, no matter how many times I tried, my um, video would not upload and I was like, oh my gosh, why? So right now, the other thing is I hardly filmed anything at all yesterday because it was busy, filled with, with many things. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flash back to a clip that I, that I did film yesterday real quick. Checking in Saturday, a day in February the 3rd, 2nd? This book I started yesterday and I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I finished it now and I do know how I feel about it and that is I rather like it. But it had this new, um, you know, July notice on the end and I was like, oh, so it probably came out last July. They said it's the beginning of a series I'm like, oh, there's probably going to be a new one coming out this year. But guess what? No, it came out in 2016 so there's two more books already out and one of them's at a nearby library and that's what I'm going to go get right now. I don't like highly recommend it. There are some parts that were not as great as they could have been. Like, I don't know. It wasn't perfect, but that didn't change the fact that I really, really enjoyed it, and I need the next one now that I just figured out existed. Oh my gosh! Uh, Gansy and I have been cuddling. He's probably not going to be pleased. I'm going to leave him to head off to the library, but that, that's what's going to happen. Now we're back to the present. So so that book um, that I said wasn't very good, a study in Charlotte, and I wasn't going to probably read any more than another chapter or two that night. I, I read a lot. I probably noted that. And um, last night I read most of the second book between when the kids I babysat were going, when they went to bed and when I came home. And I was like, oh, I should go to sleep. And I was like, oh, I should actually read some more even though I've been doing it for the past two hours. So how do I feel about the Charlotte Holmes series so far? I am a couple chapters into book three at the moment, um, and I don't know how I feel. I'm back to that I don't know how I feel thing. Like, after I finished book one, I was like, woohoo! Halfway three quarters through book two, I was like, woohoo, this is amazing! And then book two finished, and now I'm like, hmm, how do I feel about this? Ugh. Um, the good points, though, it's very interesting. I like her style. I like, um... It's first person from Watson's point of view most of the time, but sometimes Holmes cuts in increasing in increasing amounts. I love Holmes's chapters in book two, just her contrasting style. She didn't even the author didn't even say it was Charlotte Holmes writing instead of Watson, but I knew it like in a sentence that it was not Watson anymore, and that's great. I don't know to have those two styles in first person, um, not even having to have any like break the fourth wall chapter title things to tell me that it's Charlotte speaking or writing or whatever. Um, and that was cool. And like that little bit into Charlotte's head was cool too. But I didn't really like the ending of the book. There are some good things. And I guess there are some good things that have came into book three with like Jamie Watson dealing with what happened to him in the end of book two and stuff like a normal kid and not like, you know, Charlotte, who's not a normal kid. <laughs> um, but I'm like, mm. I don't like it when characters are not getting along, and that's why book three has been really rough so far. Like, the end of book two, things are so good, and now book three, and, uh, maybe these are minor spoilers, but I think from, like, halfway through book one, you would know that this friendship between Charlotte Holmes and Jamie Watson is, like, a crazy, emotional, angst-filled teenage drama, whatever. It's, it's, it's a lot. But that's enough fangirling about that book. I wasn't going to film it all today. It's a Super Bowl day, and I'm tired, and I've been reading. I, I went shopping at Costco today, this morning, right after church, which is why I'm so tired. And since then, I've been either reading, finishing book two and starting book three, or playing Zelda, or watching various YouTube videos that don't have that much to do with my life. Mm. Brother has friends over. They're watching the game. I do not care about the game. The only way I would care about the game is if A, if Patriots weren't in it, or B, the Eagles were in it, or the Seahawks. I guess I kind of care about the Seahawks. Not that much, though. <sighs> so yeah, I didn't vlog today. I could have vlogged going to Costco. It was really exhausting, and I was packing around shoes for most of the time. I guess I could show you my shoes. New shoes! Woo! They're tennis shoes. I have a really hard time finding good tennis shoes that fit me. I have this pair of, like, Adidas that I got at Costco like six years ago and they're the most comfortable things in the world but they're six years old and they are disgusting and I need to get rid of them and get something new but every I've tried two new pairs in the past year and they do not work for me I tried these on at Costco they seem fine I like how they look I'm gonna wear them around the house tomorrow um I 
feel like my main problem is like my right foot is slightly bigger than my left foot and always gets these off of blisters and like my toes in general. This, is this like too much information? I don't know. My toes get like blisters on the end of them, just like on the tips. Like if my shoes don't fit right. And I've had times like where I have certain shoes I have to wear in, in theater or in a show or something. And I have to wear like literally my point shoe full toe protection regalia in normal shoes just because they give me such bad blisters for no explainable reason. Yeah, I always feel weird like, you know, duct taping my toes around, you know, this plastic separator things. If anyone's done ballet, they'd know. And I don't know if anyone who watches these videos has done ballet. I don't think so. Um, and the gel pads, but... So that was my day. Um, nothing else really happened. I've been wearing contacts this past week pretty much every day. My eyes are really tired right now, but I also hate the feeling of my glasses on my nose. It's like there's no way to fix it. If you don't have to wear glasses, be so grateful. If you have nice vision without anything either in or in front of your eyes, it's, it's, yeah, cannot recommend it higher. Um, my plans are to continue to post videos that I missed. Yeah, so I'll post, yeah, I've got one up I just need to put on public, the 10 minute long yeet grit video, <laughs> and then um, tomorrow I'll post the one I just edited, and then I should be back on the daily track since I kind of morphed yesterday and today and together. Um, so thanks for watching, I will see y'all tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow I'm going back to work, <laughs> that's gonna be so fun. Really, it will be, I like my jobs, they're great. Um, but it's going to be a struggle to get out of the house at, like, the time when I have to leave the house, which is not really that early compared to normal, but it's like, what has happened to me that that getting up at, at 8 o'clock is a struggle now? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What's happened, Gansy? What's happened? He's a good boy. Yeah, a good boy. He's been cuddling with me most of the afternoon. What a cute man. So anyways, I'm going to continue probably reading The Case for Jamie, book three, and the dramatic, emotional, dragging me this way and that. Not sure how I feel about it, but still can't stop reading Charlotte Holmes series. Um, yeah. Bye. I should maybe, like, edit my novel, too, because that's kind of important.